Live from KIMT News Channel 3, this is Daybreak. Good Friday morning, everyone. Thank you for starting your morning with us. I'm Scott Kinraid. And I'm Paula Libertowski, and I, I made it up late to see all of Survivor, but you... I fell asleep. Not so I much. fell asleep during the thing. Well, 2 o'clock comes early. It certainly does. It was a great show, though, last night, and, uh, and it was nice to wake up this morning and not have to put the umbrella up. Yes, it was. Just We're just looking at cloudy yeah. skies this morning. The rain has just about stopped across areas of Iowa, and looking out at our Storm Team 3 Doppler, still seeing a few scattered showers, but definitely not the green mess we saw on there yesterday. Today, expect a few showers. We'll get a little bit of a break, but then the rain will still be coming for early next week. I'll have an update on how the rivers are doing coming up in weather, but right now 52 degrees, and we are going to warm up to only about 63 today, but the good news is, is that the very heavy rain we've seen over the last couple of days is giving us a break this morning. Great. Good news. Thanks, Paula. The May Day Twister that left its impact on the town of Glenville came without warning, quite literally. No sirens sounded the night everything changed for the tiny community. KIMT News Channel 3's Jamie Copley has covered the May Day Twister since it touched down in Glenville on Tuesday. Jamie spoke with a volunteer firefighter whose job it is to warn the 800-some Glenville residents of severe weather. But everything changed the moment he went to push the warning button. It's a sight seldom seen up close, but the people who call Glenville home have been forever changed by this May Day twister. KIMT News Channel 3 took this video on Tuesday. As the tornado tears through town, listen closely, because there's something you won't hear. Warning sirens. That's when I looked up and I saw the wall cloud coming on into town. I uh, immediately got my boy out of the car, got him back into the fire barn, went on over to throw the switch. But that's when something went horribly wrong for Bob Creer. The severe storm had already cut the electricity. The sirens didn't sound. Many Glenville residents still wonder why the tornado sirens didn't sound that fateful night. But one volunteer firefighter still gets choked up remembering what happened. I, I felt helpless. Uh, uh, I still get emotional over it. It, it was, it was, uh, you know, I, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't warn the people properly, and I knew it was coming. Even though Bob could see the Mayday Twister bearing down on the homes of his friends and neighbors, he could do nothing to warn them. I was able to look out the window and was watching the tornado take off and go on down past stands here. Uh, it, it filled the sky, and, and I was watching it as it left town. The memory of the May Day Twister left its image in the minds and hearts of many Glendale residents, but maybe none more than Bob. We're very thankful, you know, very thankful that, that you know, nobody did get injured and, and there were no deaths and, and uh, it, it's, it's just a great joy to see how the community itself is pulling together and, and getting themselves through this ordeal. Despite the obvious damage, many also agree they were incredibly lucky. With or without the sirens, Glenville still would have suffered this damage. But Bob is just happy the lack of warning sirens didn't cost anyone their lives. National Weather Service meteorologist Jim Richardson tells KIMT News Channel 3 the tornado dropped out of the sky very quickly, giving them little time to warn Freeborn County. Glenville Emmons students get out of class for a lesson in helping others yesterday. Armed with rakes and their work clothes, area youth took the time to help rebuild their community. Many walked around the town picking up tree branches and other debris. Students say they hope their efforts helped. Really just help people pick up their yards and stuff and make it look nice and help the town pick up. Community members say that they're impressed with this act of kindness from area students. And despite the devastation, Glenville's mayor remains optimistic about the future of downtown commerce. This is what remains of some of the major businesses that once lined Main Street in Glenville. Tuesday's tornado severely damaged the grain elevator, a communications center, Knudsen's Oil, and the grocery store. But community members hold their heads high when it comes to putting this area back together. You have to have a positive attitude. Uh, it, it doesn't do any good right now. It doesn't do any good to cry because it's, uh, there wasn't any fatalities, no injuries. Um, I think it's time for everybody just to go ahead wide open and rebuild and see if they can make everything better than it was before. 
Webb says it will take months and possibly years to bring the town of Glenville back to complete restoration. 